Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today, uh, we got, well, I found as of three of days, joke. we got some pretty sad news. Uh, and the sad news had to do with Tom Kane and his situation he had with his stroke that he suffered back in, I believe it was November of 2020. And then we met news, we learned that Tom Kane um, had a stroke. And that stroke affected his voice, um, as one might assume. Um, and unfortunately with that, his ability to sp speak was hindered. Now, while he has made a recovery and is able to speak words again, which is very good to hear, I'm glad to hear that his his ability to speak has come back, but unfortunately it hasn't come back in the way that many of us hoped it would have come back. While he's able to say some words perfectly fine without any issues, a statement given by his sister to sum it up says that he knows what's going on, he is fully aware of what's around him and that he knows what he wants to say. The issue is that he's just not able to formulate those words and make them into a sentence. So while he can, he knows what he wants to say and he's able to make words. Unfortunately, he, he can't get them out. And unfortunately, his career, which was voice acting, is, well, I wouldn't say heavily dependent, because that would be an understatement. It is imperative for his job in order to be able to He's so drunk. I can smell his breath. be able to speak. Um, that being, of course, a very big part of voice acting is being able to speak your lines. Um, and... Unfortunately, he's just not able to do that at the moment. He can't speak very well. And sadly enough to say that while he did remain optimistic and while everyone remained optimistic, like a lot of people really hoped that he'd come back. A lot of people were extremely optimistic for his return and him, he himself was extremely optimistic for his return to voice acting. But unfortunately, recent events have made it clear that he will not be returning back to voice acting. This news came about three days ago, three, four days ago, and, um, or it came a little while ago, not too long ago, that, uh, he will not be returning to voice acting and that he has officially retired. And while it is sad to say, I'm glad to know that he is safe and that he is making a recovery. And as sad as that is to see that he's not going to be returning, I think the bigger the bigger, bigger picture is is that he's safe. That he is healthy, and although he may not be 100% feeling 100%, he is still alive, and that he can formulate sentences in his head. He knows what's going on, he's self-aware, and he's able to formulate certain words perfectly. In other words, not so much. He can speak, but unfortunately he, he, he slurs a lot of his words from what Sam, his daughter, uh, made statements on. Now, at this point, I want to redirect you all, uh, either now, because now it's just kind of me, like my experience with Tom Kane. It's gotten to that point. Where now it's just going to be me saying how Tom Kane has entered my life and all that stuff like that. Uh, I also want to bring uh, notice to uh, Raffle, the Raffle Waffles uh, video that he has. He posted a video about Tom Kane as well about three days ago as of this video of, of this going live and being posted and being recorded. Um, and that video is going directly to Tom Kane afterwards. I put my love and appreciation down there. And if you guys see that, please do the same. 
it would not only mean a lot to Tom Kane, but it would mean a lot to the whole community for everybody to get together and to post on that video in the comments expressing your love for Tom Kane. Um, I'm glad to see the community getting together in order to do this, um, in order to partake in this. It really does show that the community did love him as much as I loved him. Um, and so I just want to bring awareness to that video that has been posted by the Ruffle Waffle. And I want to bring traction over to that video so we can, you know, make the list bigger. We want everybody we can posting on that. I, at least I want everyone, and I imagine he would too, want everyone posting on that. To share, to really share the love. And to really show Tom Kane that his community and that his voice acting was not just for money. And not just for the fact that he was doing it as a job, but more along the lines that he did it and created a whole community. He really gave a generation and many more generations to come. He really gave them a childhood and his work will live on through the multitude of um, media, games, videos, whatever have you conventions that he went to and his work will live on through those and it is extremely important that we honor what he has done for us in his retirement I really do feel that what Tom Kane has done for us will really, really has shaped the community. And without him, honestly, unlike some people and unlike some, you know, pieces of media, there are easily replaceable people. There are people that can be replaced in certain medias. You know, more specifically, you know, if we had to go off of that, we'd go more specifically off of, you know, the chaotic uh, group. Uh, and while their work is definitely not is definitely far from bad, I feel like their voices could have been easily replaced. But you can't replace S Tom Kane's voice. Not only did he voice Call of Duty, he also voiced in um, Star Wars: The Clone Wars as Yoda himself and Captain uh, uh, Ularan. And he's also the narrator for um, Clone Wars. And it's sad to see him go. Among other media he was involved in. Um, and it's sad to see that, you know, he can't come back to his job and come back to the community. And, well, he will always be a part of the community. Um, not to say that he won't be, but more specifically, he won't be participating in the community as much as he used to. And it's an unfortunate truth, but, I mean, but anyways, enough of that sappy crap. I just want to talk about now, like, my experiences with Tom Kane and how he's been a part of my childhood. I Really, the most blatant and the biggest one, of course, is Call of Duty Zombies. Call of Duty as a whole has been, you know, something that I used to play as all the time. It was always a part of um, what I did. Uh, I'd come home, play zombies, and although it is no secret that really back in the day, um, uh, I may not have been the biggest Takio fan, and but and stuff like that. But I, but now that I look back and now that I've played the, all the games, I really do have a new appreciation for Tom Kane and more specifically the characters that he's played in this, a role that he's played. It's not to say that, you know, his early work I didn't appreciate as much. I just was the type of kid who was more not into serious content. Like, I wasn't as, like, Takio Masaki was serious in the old games. You know, I wanted a goofy character. But now that, you know, I've, I've grown up and I've come to appreciate zombies more as a, a whole and something that I go to when I really need a break from all the stress of my day, I can come here and there he is. He's been a big part of the community. I 
think that also the fact that zombies was going to end anyways and that he wasn't going to be a part of it anymore was really sad to hear. Uh, his going away speech that he posted uh, along with the other three um, main characters, uh, which was Tank Dempsey, Nikolai Bolinsky, and uh, Edward Richtofen or Dr. Richtofen. You best better, you best damn believe that I'm also making videos for each of them as well, whether something happens to them, which I hope nothing ever does, but, um, uh, but you just damn know that they're all getting their own, um, but, and not to mention Clone Wars was also a really big part, uh, I used to watch that all the time, as I am a huge Star Wars nerd. So of course I watched the Clone Wars, and um, I mean he was Yoda. He was he was literally the leader and the Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Like, how more badass can you be to be able to voice Yoda? Like, you, you, you can't you can't be any more badass than that. I'm telling you, you really cannot be. To be able to play freaking Yoda. And while it is really sad to see that you know he won't be able to come back to those characters, I don't think anyone could ever replace him. If Treyarch ever happened to make another another game with the original crew, I I couldn't see it without I, I couldn't see it without Tom. I don't want to get too sad, I don't want to get too sentimental, but... Fuck, it's already going there anyways. I I don't know, I just... I'm gonna miss him. I really am. And I speak like he's dead, but he's not dead, but... I, I mean, I'm gonna miss him. He was Takio since World at War Zombies. Going into Black Ops 1, coming back for Black Ops 2, going into Black Ops 3, guns blazing, and then the Black Ops 4, he he f he finished it out with Black Ops 4. He was Yoda for the entire duration of the Clone Wars. He was the narrator and Captain Yularen for the duration of the Clone Wars. Like he was not that he was not a, he was not a voice actor that would you know just give up halfway through and decide to call it quits. When he saw a project, he saw it through. And to that I give him my utmost respect, to the point where even when he was during his stroke, the only thing that he was, from Sam's words, was optimistic about getting back into voice acting. That's how committed this man was to his job, and to making people happy. And, you know, whether or not he knows he has a big impact on people, he really left a big impact on not only the zombies community, but you know, the Star Wars community as a whole. And pretty much everything else. I mean, he was a big part of each community that he was in. And I mean, he he was he was a very big part of the community that he was in. And while it is sad to see that he will be stepping down from his position as a voice actor and he will be retiring. And I I like to. Thank him personally. If if I if I would ever be able to, I would love to sit down and thank him personally. Prefer maybe not preferably in person, but if not in person, definitely in some way get my message directly to him, or get my message out to him. If I could ever do that, I would I, I would not miss that opportunity ever. He has my deepest gratitude, my deepest respect, and my deepest thanks for all that he's done, not only for me, but for the community and making it what it is today. The zombies community truly has lost one of its best. And uh, me personally, I again, I just like other voice actors that have long since gone 
I will never forget them personally. What day is it? And as of this, uh, September 11th of each year. Just like I have the the day of May, Rick May, which is April 13th. September 11th will be the day of Tom King, where every day I, I will sit and remember him. I will cherish what he's done for me. I've cherished what he's done for the community. I will not let his work go without thanks. Thank you, Tom Kane, for everything you've done. You really were a big part of my childhood, you. You were a part of my childhood. And honestly and truthfully, I have to say thank you. You really... You really were a part of my childhood. Now, I want to talk about some stuff, and <laughs> so I used to play uh, Kinder Toten and Moon all the time, uh, and I remember getting into a public lobby, and we played Moon, and um, I remember specifically... Um, you know, playing Moon, and I, of course, was Takio Masaki, and uh, I remember this was, like, one of my first times playing, and I remember not being very good at zombies at that point in time. I was pretty, pretty shit. But I remember each and every time, I, I just had fun. I wasn't, I never got upset that I died, because I always had... I was always, I was just paying attention to Taki Masaki. I was just listening to his voice lines. Um, not only was I just continuously dying, it also made it to the highest round I think I've ever been on before in a zombies game, which is round 50. I don't think I've ever been, been past round 50 before, ever, ever. Um, and, I mean, I was Taki Masaki. Um, I, I played Black Ops 2. Zombies, and I remember first time I ever beat the Easter Egg Black Ops 2 with you, who you guessed it, Takuya Masaki. All, pretty much all of my milestones that I made from going to around fifty, being carried to around fifty, to completing my first ever Easter Egg, um, was with Tom Kane and. It's it's funny to think that one video game character was literally with me most of my milestones of this game. And it's it's funny to think that it was this guy. <laughs> it was Taki it was Tom Kane, Taki Masaki. You know, they were they were they were there and they were <laughs> They made it through all my milestones. But voice acting isn't just about voicing characters. It's also about being inside someone's home. You know, maybe not physically, but inside someone's home in the form of being a video game character, voicing inside their home. And literally allowing these voice actors to scream at you for the sake of entertainment. I mean... It was great. I... I, I think that just in general the fact that voice actors could do such a, a such a profound thing such as literally be able to live inside of someone's home in the form of a video game 
is crazy. I think the same thing with movies too. You know, I think. <laughs> you can hear I'm talking right now. But, um. The force of 1,000 wombats! You die! I think that. I think that's crazy that Tom Kane was able to influence a lot of people like the way he's influenced people. The same, of course, goes out to a lot of other uh, voice actors that are able just to influence so many people just by speaking, by just acting. I think it's incredible. Uh, the amount of emotion that this guy put into his work, literally going from... I mean, he literally went from a character that was supposed to be all talk, all business, and all seriousness, to one of the goofiest fucking characters, such as Yoda. I think, I think that's really what set him apart from everybody, was the amount of voices he had to act, and how he gave them all such different personalities instead of the same just... Engines, wait for no ammunition. Except the same guy, you know, it's one voice, you know, but you have to make so many different personalities out of a voice, and I think it's crazy that people are able to do that, you know. And, and Tom Kane was no was no exception to this rule. I mean, he voiced a lot of characters. You know, he had to voice a lot. And, um, no, I think that that was pretty cool. I, I really do. Um, he was great at his job. There's no way around it. He was great at his job. Um, not only good at his job in the sense that he was, you know, a good voice actor. He fit, he fit the characters, sure, but... He also was able to really get into character a lot of time, a lot of the times, and act. You know, like you can't really say other than he acted. He acted, and he acted pretty good. This will keep them at bay. Pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. You can see me over in the corner there, over on the screen. But yeah, I mean. He did a damn good job, so I I think I'm gonna wrap this up now. I have I don't have anything else to say. I I've been crying. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been I've been crying. But I, I think I should probably wrap this up by well, I mean saying what I came here to say, and that was thank you, thank you, Tom King. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for allowing me to have the childhood that I had. Thank you for being the lovable bastard that you were, whether in character or out of character on the street. Thank you for loving our community, our Call of Duty Zombies community, so much. Thank you for loving us as much as we've loved you. It, it, it means a lot to us. It, it means a lot to me, too. That you loved us and stuck with us <laughs> for so very long. And we do appreciate it. And we love you, Rick. We love you. We love you, Tom Kane. We love you really much. Thank you, Tom King. I, I, I can't I can't say thank you enough. I, I can't no amount of thank yous can really show how thankful I I really am and I should probably end this before I start crying, like ugly crying. So again, thank you very much. You have my deepest gratitude, my deepest respect. Thank you for doing what you've done for me. 
I pray for I pray that you have a safe and full recovery. I really do. I really pray that everything goes well. I pray that you can get back to your daily life. Whether it be coming back to voice acting or taking the rest of your life to relax. E either way, I stand by you 100%. And I know our community, I know the community does too. I, I hope that you make a full recovery. And for one last time, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Oh, that thing cannot get up.